I mean, do you guys see anybody actually using these? I mean, they do feel kind of comfortable, you know, but I don't know if it's a good invention or if it's just craziness, but they're mop slippers. When I saw them, I saw hundreds of mop flies. And they come in lots of colors. I'll link them down below if you want some. Send that. See, that gives a cool looking dots. Size 14, Hennig 450BL, and 3.8 slotted tungsten thread. UTC black, 70 denier. Create a little dance, so and next I'm just going to dress the hook. Gonna grab my piece of mop. I want it about the same length as the hook shank. Want that as our body. We're just gonna kind of position it right behind the bead. And we'll just secure that. Next, I've got some rooster saddle. Got one hackle fiber here. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna strip one side. So only one side has got hackle on it. Kind of putting these back here. And then I'm gonna cut just a tiny little, tiny little tie-in point. And this is long hackle for this, for a size 14, but it's what I wanted. Tie that in, bring our thread back up to the head, and then we're just going to palm of this forward just two or three wraps and grab that with our thread in front and behind and trim your stem okay so now I'm gonna just kind of grab a hold of all these fibers and just clean this up just a little bit I want to push these fibers back I'm gonna grab some dubbing in this rusty, flashy color. I'm just gonna dub a little, little noodle, but a generous one. And we'll just wrap that and bring that back up to the bead. Give it a whip finish. I grab this little dubbing brush. I'm just gonna. Brush out some of that rusty copper flash. Doesn't look good now, but when this fly is wet, it is amazing. I'll clean this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And here. here's the fly wet. It's with the UV light. And that's it. Steve from Black Fly. Signing out. See you guys in the next one.